Tarzan and the Don are share. Tarzan and the Gregory Expedition are in their first camp in the jungle. Atan Tom and his confederate, Lal Tosk, believing Tarzan to be Brian Gregory and that he has a map showing the location of the forbidden city of Asher, are following the Tarzan Gregory safari. With the help of Wolf, a guide in the mysterious Magra, both members of the Gregory party, Tom hopes to gain possession of this map. In the Gregory camp, a native bearer runs amok and charges the group of whites gathered about their campfire. Tarzan's companion stand petrified as the crazed black bearer, brandishing a heavy spear, leaps toward the ape man with a blood curdling yell. <laughs> Hey, he, he's got the spear away from him. Look out, Tarzan, he has a knife. No, and I'm going to shoot him. No, 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 leave Tarzan alone. Ah, you see, there goes the knife. Hey, Jiminy, he's got the fella tied up so he can't do a thing. By your son, Toto Sensei. Azore son, Anadawa. Posho, Posho. Oh, God, he's making that fellow listen to reason. Jumbo, Jumbo, Makubo, Falani. By your son, Mokamba. Baba Menge, Menge, Makubo. Hey, what strength. Ah, I would have killed that fellow and had it over with. And you would have made a mistake, would Tarzan kills only when it is absolutely necessary. Eh? Voila! The black is returning to the natives as quiet as a lamb. But look! Tarzan! He is swinging into the tree. To deeper him in. Just look at that. Hey, ye. Oh, Lieutenant Darno, Dad has fainted and I can't bring him to. Help me, please. Mais oui, mais oui. Here, I will hold him. And now, my brandy flask in my pocket. A word, a lasso. Yes, yeah, sure, Lieutenant. Yes, yeah, Lieutenant Darno. Uh, you two go over and calm down natives. Yes, yeah, yeah, sure. Hold, hey, Lieutenant. What is the matter with your father, Miss Helen? Can I help you? Oh, it's his heart, Magra. Is he subject to these attacks? Oh, yes, when greatly excited. I meant to tell you this morning back there on the trail when I told you he wasn't strong. Oh. Oh, uh, Dad. Oh, it's all right. He's coming out of it now. Oh, Dad. Easy, Dad. Easy now. How is it, Dad? How is it? Very cool. Oh, all right, Helen. Foolish of me to drop off like that. Yeah, rest easy, Mr. Gregory. But Tarzan, the last I remember, my black rushing at him with a spear... You see, Tarzan is all right, Monsieur Gregory. He is not hurt. Thank God for that. What happened to the native? Tarzan subdued him with his bare hands. It was the most surprising thing I have ever seen. Well, where is Tarzan? I don't see him. Well, he, he climbed up into the trees, Dad. And... Climbed into the trees? The native's been all right now. Yeah. Lieutenant, but the yelling got all the animals in the jungle stirred up. Yeah, and the big fellow is telling him that Tarzan is a jungle god who drove the devil out of it. I don't understand, Helen. You say Tarzan climbed into the trees? Yes, Dad, and I've never seen anything like it. He swung into the branches like a monkey. Well, why? Uh, where is he now? Do not worry, Monsieur Gregory. Tarzan is all right. You see, at one time in his life, he was forced to live alone in the jungle. And, and to escape from the wild beasts, he had to take to the trees. But, Lieutenant Darnot, 
How could anyone learn to climb with such marvelous agility and such unbelievable speed? Mais alors, euh, vous savez, mademoiselle, euh, the practice makes perfect in anything. Your brother Brian, Miss Helen, he has been in the jungle a long time, no? Why, yes, why do you ask? I mean, before he vanished last year, had he been in the jungle many times? Why, yes, many times. Well, you see, as an explorer and scientist, he spent most of the last ten years in the African jungle. Has he ever lived in the jungle alone, as the lieutenant tells us Tarzan has? I know what she means, Helen. You see, Magra, on yes. one of Brian's jungle trips, he became lost from his safari. And as Dano tells us, Tarzan was forced to do. Brian had to take to the trees because of the animals. Mais, Mademoiselle Magra... I understood that you knew Monsieur Gregory's son when he was here last. Did you not know that he had been in Africa before? He did not tell me. And he knew Brian for such a short time before he vanished. But your father, Mr. Tome, he knew my brother well, didn't he? My father, Atan Tome. Oh, yes. Yes, he and your brother were very, very good friends. Well, a man would have to live in the jungle a long, long time to be able to climb trees like the Tarzan. By ye, Dutchman, you just saw the man do it, didn't you? A fella can't do anything to keep out of a lion's belly. <laughs> <laughs> I heartily agree with you, lass. With a hungry lion at my heels, I believe I could even do it myself. <laughs> Alors, mes amis, we have before us tomorrow a long jungle trek. And I suggest that we go to bed now and get what rest we can. Travel in the jungle is not easy. What about Tarzan? Out there somewhere, alone? Hadn't we better organize a search party? Tarzan, Monsieur Gregory, is well qualified to take care of himself. I should not worry about him. But we couldn't possibly go on without him, Lieutenant. Suppose a lion or, or some other animal should attack him. Mademoiselle, when you have seen Tarzan as... But never mind that. He will be here when we are ready to continue tomorrow. Now, I repeat, we should all go to bed. And I, for one, agree with you, Dono. I admit, I'm rather played out. Lieutenant, are you sure Tarzan can find his way back to camp? Did not Lord Tennington tell you that Tarzan knows the jungle better than any man living? Dono's right, Helen. Well, I'm turning in, folks. Good night. Hey, ye, many ye. Wait! Look up there in that tree! Get your gun, Wolf. It been a gorilla. Attendez, attendez, wait, mes enfants. Wait a minute. I believe the gorilla, Larson, is a friend of ours. Huh? Tarzan! Coming, Dono! Great Scott! Is that Tarzan? Mm. It, it can't be. Why, he's close. When he comes down into this circle of firelight, you will see that it is Tarzan. He is clothed in his usual jungle attire. My good gracious. Uh, a leopard skin. Oui, mademoiselle, a leopard skin, which he always wears under his outer garments, no matter what they may be. And look, look how he comes down out of those trees. I tell you again, a man would have to spend most of his life in the jungle to be able to do that. With such complete indifference, look how graceful he is. Why, he's like... He's like a... Like a Greek god, Miss Helen. What's the matter with all you people? You act excited about... <laughs> excited? Hardly the word. Say it was a surprise. <laughs> and quite naturally, mon ami. When our friends saw you fly into the trees like an arrow from a bow, they were... were astounded. Yeah, especially at the manner in which you left us. By the way, Mr. Tarzan, what did you do with your clothes? That, uh, that leopard skin you have had. Nothing to be surprised at, Wolf. In the jungle, the skin of Sheeta is enough for me. Sheeta is hungry tonight. I went into the trees to see if he is near our camp. Was there any more trouble with the natives, Darno? No, no, no. Au contraire, pas de tout. The lesson you gave the big fellow was enough. <laughs> Wolf says that he is your friend for life. Ah, what that fellow needs is a good taste of black snake. There'll be no whipping of natives, Wolf, while I'm in charge of this safari. It's the only way to handle him. Put the fill of caught in them with a whip. Oh, but you're the boss. Handle them your way. I am going to turn in. Good night. Oh, I started to bed once tonight. Perhaps I can make it this time without interruption. See you all in the morning. Good night. Good, Good night. night. Good On such a beautiful night, one cannot go to bed.
Listen. What are they? Crickets? Why, well, there must be millions of them. Now, mademoiselle, you will see many, many such nights before you strike civilization again. And after you've been in the jungle as long as they've been, listening to those fellows out there, you won't think the night so fine. Why, well, Mr. Larson, you can't mean you don't enjoy it. Larson, Mademoiselle Elaine, hears threats in the many-throated voice of the jungle night, which we do not hear at all. Yes, yeah, sure I do. But I thank Mr. Tarzan he had plenty more than me. Is that so, Tarzan? Yes. There are many voices at the Tarmangani. Even Larson cannot hear. Listen. Why, I heard nothing but a general confusion of sound. You mean you can distinguish definite animal voices? Yes. That is Manu, the monkey. And that is Dango, the hyena, the jungle coward. And Darno, he will tell you who that is. Uh, very dear. One of the most intelligent of jungle beasts, Tantor the elephant. Right. Well, and that been a leopard. And he been plenty close. A leopard? Oh, it sounded more like a human guy, didn't it, Margaret? Oh, I, I thought she was still here with us. Oh, she she probably went to bed, Tarzan. Magra did not go to her tent. She went around it and started toward the edge of the camp. Are you sure of that? Yes, sir. I saw her. Lieutenant Darno, where is Tarzan going? After Magra. She went back toward the end of the camp instead of to bed. But won't our thorn fence keep animals out? She's safe, isn't she? It been only a temporary boomer, Miss Helen. Any of the cats can jump over it. And Larson, keep your rifle handy in case the leopard does come over. Yes, yeah, sure. <laughs> Spurred on by the knowledge that Sheeta's cry comes from the direction in which Magra has gone, Tarzan swings lightly into the branches of a nearby tree and with the agile grace of Manu the monkey swarms upward. His sure feet tread a maze of tangled limbs high above the shadowy floor of the jungle. A slight movement on the ground below attracts his attention. Two dim figures meet at the base of the tree in which he momentarily pauses. Then swiftly, the ape man drops down from the middle terrace to perch silently on a great limb directly above Magra and Wolf. Magra. Don't lie to me. Last night on the boat, I was on deck. I saw Larson pick it up and give it to the Frenchman. He read it. Later, I stole it from his pocket. Yes? And what did this note say? Only two words. Watch, Wolf. You wrote that, Magra. Now, how would you like to have me tell Tom? No, huh? Wolf, not that. Ah, that's better. Oh, now... You be nice to Wolf, huh? He likes you. Play this game my way or otherwise. Wolf, my arm, you're hurting me. With incredible speed, the ape man drops lightly to the floor of the jungle directly behind Wolf. At the soft thud of bare feet, the German whirls, his hand streaking to the gun at his hip. Tarzan! Tarzan, you! Yes, Wolf. So, eavesdropping, eh? Well, 